Just pick up a new iPhone 12 and want to know how to perform some of the basics like forced restarting your device, entering into recovery mode, automatic emergency calls, etc. Well, in this video, we're going to go over how to do all of these things on your brand new iPhone 12. The only physical buttons we have on the iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro, or 12 Pro Max is the side button and the volume up and down buttons. With no home button to speak of, these three side buttons work in combination to perform all of these necessary functions. Most of you probably know how to turn your new iPhone on or off, but just in case you need a refresher, we're going to go over those two basic tasks. To turn your iPhone off, press and hold the side button along with either the volume up or volume down buttons at the same time until two sliders appear on your screen. Go ahead and let go of the buttons and then swipe right on the slide to power off in order to turn your iPhone off. If you wish to power your phone back on, just go ahead and simply press and hold on the side button and the Apple logo will appear. If you need to activate the emergency SOS feature in which your iPhone automatically calls emergency services and sends a text message with your location to people in your emergency contacts, simply press and hold the side button alongside one of the volume buttons. If you keep holding after the two slider options appear, the emergency SOS countdown initiates and after five seconds, a call will be placed. You can also swipe right on the emergency SOS toggle to make a call manually. If you don't want emergency SOS to automatically call emergency services when that side button is pressed, make sure to disable auto call via the settings app, emergency SOS, and then disable auto call. To disable face ID in order to prevent a malicious person from unlocking your iPhone by holding it in front of your face, simply press and hold the side button and then press and hold either volume button. Then press cancel at the bottom of the screen. Face ID will now be disabled until you enter in your passcode. To force a restart, quickly press and release the volume up and then volume down button and then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. During this process, you will see a slider to power off the iPhone. You're going to want to ignore it and continue holding the side button until the screen goes black. At this point, the Apple logo will pop up and after the restart is complete, the screen will activate once again. Entering recovery mode can help if you're having trouble updating or restoring your iPhone over the air. For example, if the screen shows the Apple logo for several minutes, but no progress bar appears, you can try putting the device into recovery mode and restoring it with your Mac. Here's how to do it. Connect your phone to your Mac, then follow the steps that we just went over on force restarting your iPhone by pressing the volume up, then the volume down, and then holding the side button. But this time, wait past the Apple logo until you see the recovery mode screen. You should see a message in iTunes saying that your iPhone is in recovery mode. You will then be given options to update or restore your iPhone software. DFU mode, which stands for Device Firmware Update on the other hand, restores an iPhone if a restart or entering standard recovery mode doesn't solve the problem that you're having. To enter DFU, make sure your iPhone is on and connected to your Mac, then press the volume up, immediately followed by the volume down, and then press and hold the side button until your iPhone screen turns black. Release the side button and then hold down both the side button and volume down buttons for around five seconds. Then release the side button, but continue holding down the volume down button. Wait until your Mac prompts you that your device is now in DFU recovery mode and that you can now restore your iPhone if you wish to do so. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out with your iPhone. Go ahead and let us know in the comments section down below if you found this useful. And also there is a link to a guide for more specific information about everything that we just talked about in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.